share Iyanu. You're the God of awesome wonders. I've tasted of your power. is a church church is where god's grace abound church is where we pray church is where the word of god is preached church is where brotherliness and oneness exist church is where you are inspired church is where sin is not glorified church is where the righteousness of god is exalted Church is where you discover your purpose in life. And church is true word prophetic fire ministry, the sanctuary of grace. Welcome to church. Our days of service are Tuesdays, one-on-one -on -one counseling session at 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Fridays, we have restoration night at 9 p.m. to 4.30 a.m. Destiny Movement is on Sundays at 4.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. We are located at Achimota Mile 7 within the same premises as Fidelity Bank near the Royal Filling Station. God bless you. True Word Prophetic Fire Ministry. Raising people of fire. Restoring destinies via Christ. Hello there. Good evening. Bless you. God bless you. I'm Prophet Nigel Gazi, the set man of True Word Prophetic Fire Ministries. I thank you for watching this program, Voice of Destiny. I thank you for keeping your dial on this very station. I want to encourage you that you keep watching Voice of Destiny this and every time, the same time on this station, and you'll be blessed. Uh, this is a church that believes in the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and this is a church that stands for serious, fervent, effective prayers and we stand for spirit-led prophetic manifestations. I want to encourage you that be part of this church. It's a growing church, one of the fastest growing churches in Ghana and I'm believing God that you'll be blessed. This evening, I have come your way and I have a sure word of God from God for you. I'm believing God that you'll be blessed. I'm believing God that after watching me, by the end of the 30 minutes, I'm believing God that your spirit man will be fulfilled. I'm believing God that you'll be empowered. I'm believing God that you'll be exposed to certain realities of our time. And above all, the Lord has assured me that you'll be blessed and you'll be blessed and what he has said about you come to pass. This evening, I'm preaching about a message I've been led to entitle, Pushing for a Change. Yes, listen to me, Pushing for a Change. Pushing for a Change. I want us to bow our head and let's pray. Father, we thank you. I pray that as your word is coming, anoint my lips and use me to be a blessing in the life of your people. In Jesus' name. Somebody there, I wanted to shout, Amen. Thank you, and I bless you again for watching Prophet Nigel Gazi. Beloved, the message tonight is entitled by the leading of the Spirit of God, Pushing for a Change. Pushing for a Change. You should appreciate that life will not give you what you want. Life from the era of innocence to the era of grace. Life will never give any serious man or woman what he wants, but life will give you what you demand and command. Hear me? Life will give you the good pleasures of life, the good demands of life, is such that you don't, it, it doesn't just happen. We are in an era whereby manna has stopped falling. So anything you want in life, whether being in academic, whether being in every facet of your life, beloved in Christ, you have to push before the Lord God will give you. Somebody will say that what is this prophet about, what is this prophet trying to say or is about to say? What I'm trying to say is that in life, whatever, being you want the fruit of the womb, you want to be healed, you want to travel abroad whatever you want in the light of the word of god must be fought for must be demanded must be commanded hear me watch me i've been telling the churches in the nations of the world that there is no vacant blessing every blessing must be fought for there is no vacant blessing every blessing must be fought for beloved i want you to the reference point of tonight's the message is first Samuel chapter chapter number one. First Samuel chapter number one. 
verse 3. I'll read from verse 3 and I'll bring you certain deep biblical uh, expositions. And I'm believing God that your life will be empowered. I'm believing God that even as you are watching, if you are here, you are sick, may the Lord God through this broadcast heal you and heal you now. Whatever is on your heart in which you have been waiting for over the years, I pray to God that may Jehovah God grant you and give you speedily and immediately in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's hear the word of the Lord. The Bible says in fact that kind of first Samuel chapter 1, 3, because of time, so you, the, I think that the, it's rolling on your screen. Watch it, read it, and let's read it together. I'm Prophet Nigel Gazi, the third man of True Web Prophet Fire Ministries. We meet every Sunday, Sunday evening, 4.30 to 9.00 p.m. Yes, Sunday evening, 4.30 to 9 p.m. at Archmortar Mall, seven, the same premises at Fidelity Bank. And as you are watching me, tomorrow evening is a mega restoration all night. Tomorrow evening is a, is, is, is a mega restoration all night. People travel all over the nations of the world and we come and feast in the presence of God. I want you to be my guest as you are watching me. Tomorrow evening is Archmortar Mall, seven. As you are watching me, the numbers are on your screen. It is rolling. It is scrolling. I want you to call. I'm standing by. I'll speak directly into your life i'll speak with you my pastors are standing by i'm also i want to talk to you i want i want to be your friend i want to hear you what you are going through there is a word on my lips that will change it for you the hand of god is upon me in this end time let's go back to our message tonight hear me the bible say that and this man went out of this city yearly to worship and sacrifice unto the lord of hosts in shiloh and the sons of Eli, ophanims and phineas the praise of the lord were there when the time was when the time was that Elkanah offered, he gave Penina his wife and to his sons and her daughters portions. But unto Hannah he gave worthy portion, for he loved Hannah, but the Lord has shut up her womb. Okay, beloved, I'm preaching tonight. I have a message I've been led to entitle Pushing for a Change. The Bible says that Elkanah, Elkanah, according to the Greek etymology, means my God was, I was acquired by God, or God has acquired me. The Bible says that he had two wives. One was called Hannah. Hannah, according to the etymology of the name Hannah, means gracious, or something which is, which is original. And El Pinina means fake, something which is pale, or something which is cosmetics. I know that the basic Bible student knows this, this, this narration, this narration, in that Elkanah had two wives, and one was barren, and the other was, 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 had the benefit of the fruit of the womb. And the Bible says that as a result of that, the Bible says that Penina was mocking Hannah so many times and all the times. Beloved in Christ, some of you, I know that life you are barren. I know that you are barren academically. I know that you are barren financially. I know that you are barren somewhere. And as a result of that, the people who have the fruit of what you are lacking, they are laughing at you. But I came your way tonight to come and tell you that you will not be a mocker. You will not be a mocker. Your life, maybe yesterday you were a mocker. By the time it's coming as you are listening to me, you will not be a mocker again. Maybe you are bowing your head in shame. I came to tell you by the voice of the living God that after this very broadcast, your head will not be bowed in shame. Beloved, the Bible say that Elkanah had two wives and the Bible say one was barren and the other one was fruitful. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible say that Elkanah go to Shiloh every year. Yearly, it was a year, it's a yearly routine for Elkanah go to, to go to Shiloh. So the Bible say that he goes there with his children El, and there's two wives. The Bible say that Elkanah gives to Hannah everything that must be given to. But the Bible makes me understand that Elkanah was not satisfied. Watch me. Number one, whatever a man gives you will not give you internal intrinsic satisfaction it is only what the Lord gives you that gives satisfaction hear me the Bible says that Elkanah will give everything unto Hannah because Elkanah loved Hannah than Penina but watch me the Bible says that and El Hannah wasn't satisfied this world not until the Lord blesses you whoever blesses you those blessings are temporary whatever a man gives you whatever a man brings to your court and your vineyard not until it's at the backing of God it is it is but it's the temporal watch me I'm preaching about pushing for a change I want you to understand that the Bible say that but for some time they were going and going 
So Hannah herself told herself that I'm going next year, I'll go to Shiloh. Shiloh means the presence of God. Shiloh means every church you go, wherever the presence of the Lord is. And don't forget that the Bible says that wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I have not seen anybody who has experienced the true, tangible, evidential, evidence hand of God and the person is still in captivity or the person's life is not, has not changed for the better. Beloved in Christ, the Bible says that Elkanah goes to Shiloh and he goes to Shiloh with Hannah and Penina, watch me. Hannah and Penina. So the day Hannah told herself that I, Hannah, myself, I'll go to Shiloh. Some of you, you are not pushing for life. Some of you are not pushing for a change in your life. I always tell the people of God that life is about evidence. Life is about evidence. Abraboni niawo, abraboni niawo wo, abrabo so wa so wa wari a. Then the church so wa wari. So wo so wa wari o ba besia, wa wari ten years, five years, uni in kola. Ye besro. But I believe God said, and then you mean I would hear me. A radin yanko pon enfa in sand count. A year by now, may you all have your own children in the name of the Lord Jesus. Anything you lack, anything you are deficient, I pray for you by the oil of God and the weight of God upon my life and back in my my ministry that God Almighty will get you out of every satanic barrenness in the name of the Lord Jesus hear the word of the Lord so the Bible say that and Hannah herself told herself that I am going to Shiloh ladies and gentlemen life not until you take charge of your life and not until you cannot be a champion not until you take charge of your life you cannot bear fruit in your life Ladies and gentlemen, Hannah was there, but Hannah was just positively, positively active in life. But life, not until you are actively a player with respect to the good forces of life, you, you'll be barren. What is barrenness here? Barrenness means that the absence of anything which must be. Barrenness, if you are still, you went to Legon, you went to Tech, you went to school, and for four, three years, ten years, you are still unemployed, you are barren. If you are 35, you are still single, you are still wallowing about, gallivanting around in a single room, in a, in a small, in a small shattered battered single room. You are barren. Barrenness is not the absence of physical children. Barrenness is the absence of anything which must be and it is it is not. If you're a man of God watching me, you are, you put on the clerical, you wear big coat, long coat, but you don't have a ministry. You don't have a ministry, you are barren. Barrenness is not the absence of children. If you are grown up about 25, 30 years and you are still single you are barren if you've never traveled before you are barren ladies and gentlemen life must be pushed Christianity belongs to presence this destiny belongs to people who are presence people who push it the Bible say that since the time of John the Baptist the kingdom of God suffered violence and the Bible say violent men took it by force and I always tell the people of God that not until the change you go to the changer there can never be a change the Bible says in Hebrews the Bible says in Hebrews that they that come to God must believe that he is they that come to God must believe that he is when you read that kind of Hebrews 11 verse 6 he said they that come to God must believe that he is and he is the reward of they that diligently seek him diligently here means consistently persistently seek him the Bible said that Elkanah and Hannah and Penina they were going to Shiloh but let me give you a revelation here Elkanah was a religious man he was not a a, a spiritual man if you are religious your things will delay if you are religious the benefit of Christ will not be speedily and immediately seen in your life he go to Shiloh religiously but the day Hannah told herself that I'll go to Shiloh in the light and I'll take it on myself and the light and take it on my spiritual uh, acknowledgement ladies and gentlemen the Bible says Hannah prayed and when she prayed the prophet Eli came out and said, or the high priest Eli came out and said that, a year by now, may the Lord have respect for you. Beloved, life, if you don't take charge and push it for yourself, you'll be barren. Most of you are barren. Most of you, as you are watching me, there is nothing good to write home about. In the family, everybody, there is, you, you are living a naked life. You are living a life life. You are living a paradoxical life. You are living a retrogressive, repugnant life. I came to tell you that you're going to push it. You got to push it. That business, you got to push it. That marriage, you got to push it. That dream, you got to push it. You can't sit down, you can't sleep and tell me that you, 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 you're going to make it. No, it doesn't happen like that. It doesn't happen like that. Christianity and, and people who take their time, the people who take their time and season are men and women who are pushers. 
The Bible says the day that Israel traveled, she brought forth. You have sat down for long. The Bible says a little sleep, a little slumber. Poverty becomes your portion. Man of God, you got to push it. My beloved sister, brother, my daddy watching me, my beloved daughter and son in the Lord, you got to push it. You cannot sit down like that. Your mother was barren. There was nothing good in the family. Your father was barren. There was nothing good in the family. You cannot afford to be barren. The Bible says in Nehu 1 verse 9, the afflictions will come but not a second time. You people have been afflicted for so long. You have enjoyed barrenness for so long. There is no evidence in your life. The time has come for you to push it. You can't sleep. This is not a time for you to sleep. The Bible says Haman was going for, for the Jews. The Bible said that Haman was going for the Jews. Mordecai sent a word to Esther that the times we are in are not time that you can eat and drink. Mama, you have to push for a change. You have to push for a change. The doctor told you that you have low sperm count. You should not accept the doctor's report. The Bible said that whose report have you believed? Isaiah chapter 53, 1 to 2. Three there was say, whose report have you believed? Is it the report of God or the report of man? Mama, you got to say charge of your life. Some of you, you are too independent. You have become, you have been, you, you are too independent. The African continent, the nation Ghana must take charge. We are, we are depending on, 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 on donor, donor sponsorship for everything. Our president, everything, every government, the, 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 the Africa continent, every, every state, every political state, we are dependent on people. When can we be accepted? When can we push our nation? Politician watching me, you got to push it for your nation. Mama watching me, you got to push it. You got to push it. Hannah was barren. Why? Because she was casual. In life, when you are too casual, you become a casualty. When you are too normal, you be minimal. Life, oh yeah, boti boti ya. Obi do si kan be chananka. Abra bo yo mo mo ni abre. Kuso soma pa. Kuso soma ye hu nyanko pon Yesu Christ e nu onyam. E ye kuso soma ye bom pa ye. Kuso soma o jidi ni e den hu man pa ye. Kuso soma o jidi ni onko ton suo, onko ton crazy, onko ton calendar. Kuso soma o jidi ni e bom pa ye. Bible say hana e bom pa ye. Mi ma mi o tiye mi nyami di si a o tiye mi. Sa o do hu be man pa ye e rati be ma o samo. Sa e na u tiye mi, ne nyumre u tiye mi. Sa o be kase ni e si bi ya mi ma ako. But me perceive me the prophet Nigel is here at Chile Nyumre. Ni a bomb pyre. Everybody in Kupo Baba is One and the catcher is here. One and the catcher. Brother, we see him. One and the catcher. Me and this year we see one and the catcher. So be jai no of Christosum. What do separate tone some? Bible say Gideon had an separate tone in some. Bible say Job what had an separate tone in some. Bible so who so be in some one? Bible mama tia says had an separate tone in some. Sister, we see me. Who do we need to tune in person? Bible says no me any me had an one tune in person. Me probably who men will disappoint you. Men will disappoint you. Psalm twenty the Bible say the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And they that running into it are saved. The hands of men are not a strong tower. So the Bible says in Psalm 91 verse 7, that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide. Nana was abiding under the shadow of Elkanah. To the day and time, she told her shadow, I will come and abide under the shadow of God Almighty. Your help is of God. Your help is not of man. That breakthrough is not of man. That breakthrough is not as a result of your academic previous or your academic credentials. Some of you I know, you are educated, highly educated, but what is education without the Spirit of God? The Bible says that it's not by mind nor by power, but by the Spirit of God. Elkanah had everything, gave it to Hannah, but Hannah was not satisfied. Bible said the, hand, the help of man is, but it is temporary. I came your way, I'm Prophet Nigel Gezi, that push it. If you're a student watching me, you got to push it. You got to push it, yeah. You got to push it. I push it. I'm pushing it. Nobody's going to cook it for you. Nobody's going to make it happen for you. It is between you and your God. It is between Christianity. It's between you and your God. I came your way to tell you. Men will give you everything. The world will give you everything. But it cannot give you a summer. So this tells me that account of Genesis chapter 31 to 2. The Bible says that. And, and, and Leah and Rachel, they went through the same thing. Anything that a man gives you, a man gives you anything that the world gives you, it will lead you to jeopardy. It will give, lead you to a land of unsatisfaction. But that which you fight, 
that which you fight for yourself. You have to demand it. In economics, before there can be a supply, there must be a demand. So Adam Smith will tell you, the theory of Adam Smith will tell you, that demand and supply. Everything you want in life, you have to demand it. And the Bible says that the God of all flesh shall surely indeed supply all our needs according to his riches through Christ Jesus. I came where your way to tell you, you have relaxed enough. I came your way to tell you, you are talking in life. Life has no respect for talkatives. Life has no respect for gossipers. Life has no respect for backsiders but frontliners. Life has no respect for former champions but current champions. You are living in the past. Come to the realities of the day. You have you got to put that job. That dream is possible. That aspiration is possible. You got to push it in prayer. We believe in prayer. We are a church that believes in prayer. We don't sell anything. We don't sell anything in the church. We believe in prayer. We believe in the word of God. From the era of innocence to now, the word of God is sure. I want to encourage you as you are watching me. Tomorrow evening, wherever you are in the nation of Ghana or any part of the world you are watching, Prophet Nigel Gezi, come to Achimota Mile 7. Achimota Mile 7, the same premises at Fidelity Bank. 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. Between the hours of 7 p.m. to 10.30, I'll have a consultation, one-on-one -on -one consultation. I want to encourage you, join this praying church. Join this praying church. And your life will not be the same. Push life. Life does not just happen. Heroes are not born. Heroes are made. Heroes are not born. Heroes are made. You got to make it happen. Mama, rise up. Man, you are talking too much. Life is about evidence. Hannah was barren, but the day she took charge of her life, the Bible said the Lord God, through the instrumentality of Eli, blessed her and opened her womb. I pray for you as you are watching me. Every barrenness in your life, may the Lord God Almighty cause you to be fruitful. I pray for you, every delay and stagnation in your life, May the Lord God Almighty break that yoke of delay and stagnation. I pray for my brothers and sisters whom the doctor said you have a medical problem, a medical deficiency. I pray for you that may you receive your instant healing right now. Is it HIV AIDS? Is it sugar diabetes? Is it, is it leukemia? Is it liver or heart problem? I pray for, is it cancer disease? Every terminal and chronic sickness, may the Lord God deliver you. Again, the message is pushing for a change. Not until the changes go to the changer, there cannot be a change. The Bible says that they that come to God must believe. So you have to go to God. Go to God. You need not sleep on a Friday. You got to go to an all night. You got to go to a church that prays and not a church that sells those what. No, 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 sir. We are, you are too refined for that. You are too refined. At your level, you are buying things in the house of God. You are too refined for that. You are too quality than that. You are too polished for that. Rimpire dimpire. Me who only put in one rimpire dimpire. Then you may go and say, Rimpire, me mommy. A human in your rimpire. Brother, a brabon in your rimpire. Men for when you and two will pray for me, no adorso. One casa bompire. Bible says, Sadano, Obi Oba bompire, be a mima safunyankopo. Mephi men no yamatian empire. Mima safunyankopo. Mephi men no yamatian empire. Say Greek ni bompire raditie, Roman ni bompire raditie, Ibe ni bompire raditie, Infantine ni bompire raditie, Pepe ni bompire raditie. So over bompire sorrow on Sabbath so near a radia come from Bebem, near radia summer 2018 Bebem. This year I want you to push for a change. So Sabibu Abrabum, what what catchre sister, brother what catchre so Abrabo, then catchre first born why last born, why worry sad there is no so in your life. What Kosukus are who are degree be brave to set the most start? But who need you my? Who's who are done for for now? Oh, dodgy, dodgy. That is not life. Take that of your life. For we separate two and some. Not sorrow or separate one. Ye juma or separate bomb pie can you miss them? Quite sorry, a bomb pie. Quite sorry, a can of cure. A radin shrub. A radin orchestra. Nan coupon and drumbo. Me bomb pie is a chin in open the mess on in Bessia. Ma, ya bomb pile. May your friend will defo no be more bomb pile. Your friend will defo Nigel Gazi. Send you my only machine and bomb pile. A radinho cassia, 
or the way man and to be more bible said our help is from above empire be able for the papa beti in the chain you may sorry to an amor would that be blowing up account would that be brandy was here account before be a sorry summary a young meeting i can bring for a do to four so my so my four for a four i sorry by this time a young meeting sorry my home in a so mama oya catch it or back down but will be a year yeah yeah and you was here mama most of my service so now means now now me okay sir what should i am person can we edit my chief baby i will be a only able to afford in nanka kasa uradi yesu me dawasi if I'm a born enemy, man, I told you now, etchene. Me fall, sir, me cry, and my jinko. Show me ding, I won't call me. So I can wear up. Why I bought it for four? If a way, why watch me? I want you to say this after I say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for my life. Forgive me of all my sins and transgressions. Write my name in the book of life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. O can wear up. Why I bought it for four? If I say me show me cry, say kwa sorry, I can't hear me asem. Kwa sorry, I can't hear me asem. You better catch us and turn on your baby and your baby. And turn on your two pong of fit as no ba. No dear papa and cause one your papa. No dear bonnet and sacra and agony. Was and turn a crystal ba. A radina coupon and young crown wording. I mean, so next week, Mr. Miss Anusia. Turn on your mate, my young sir, watch what I'm on seven. Neon bompire. A December, they are ready their enemy. I have a sir, ready their chemin. Deliverance, a ready their chemin. Young coupon your cassette. A friend would differ on a jugazi. Made our sister and any way, we share voice of destiny. God bless you. I look forward to feasting with you in the presence of God tomorrow. Bless you indeed. How are you? I'm Prophet Nigel. What has God done for you? God has done the unbelievable, the undoable. Because um, I came here on the 10th, on the 10th of February, I came uh -huh. here. Um, I and my fiancé, we plan to get married and we paid for everything September last year. And two weeks to the wedding, and then he called the wedding off. You came here? Yes. I picked you. You picked me. He told me Friday, if you are a man of God, by Friday he will come. Uh -huh. What happened? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What happened? God, God grace. Uh -huh. God grace. The, the visa. Look, look. Uh -huh. God grace, the visa was expired. Um, they cancelled his flight, so he couldn't come. But he sent someone to represent him. And God willing, on the 10th of March, I'll be going to Switzerland. So we sign it up. Platt, so Oh, Do you have the single ladies here? Do that, let me see. Madam, it's then the radio. Your friend will do for Nigel German. Michelle, I am my mom. I brought my children to meet us. So, Mister, I'm just here for. Mum, fire cry. I need to drive home. I'm in my mom's house. We're not baby, baby, free heaven. I want me back and sit down. So, I'm not the only me, Dada. Me, I'm not sure. I'm feeling fine. I'm into me now. Na revival no me ya ma dwen se ma ba fi ha de bibi e be ye bia yesu ti ase me ba o be hu me mo bo me ma da fi ti da ye revival na be si na ma bon so ma jesus great aqua i'm a prophet what do you do i'm a pharmacist a chief pharmacist then the radio ya mo um I was supposed to go for a visa, and um, I prayed. I spoke with Prophet Nigel, and he prayed, and he told me that Grace will speak for me. And I went there, and the man couldn't even ask me anything. He didn't look at any of my documents. He just gave it to me. I'm, I'm, saying. Saying. I'm, saying. I'm yet to see the number of years. Yes. Yes. Five years. Amen. Amen. So I give glory to God. So receive that grace. Thank you for being part of this broadcast. We trust you have been blessed. May greater grace speak for you. Amen.